Ever wondered what gives Coca-Cola its unique, irresistible taste? Prepare to be surprised. Welcome fellow connoisseurs of the universally beloved soft drink Coca-Cola. This iconic beverage, with its red and white emblem, is recognized in every corner of the globe. It's the go-to refreshment on sweltering summer days, the toast of celebrations, and the perfect companion to a meal. It's a taste we've all come to know and love, but do we truly know what lies behind that distinctive flavor? Coca-Cola, a drink that has been a part of our lives for more than a century, is shrouded in mystery. Its recipe is a closely guarded secret, coveted by competitors and speculated upon by consumers. What if we told you that the answer to this enigma lies in the most unexpected place? What if the key to Coca-Cola's irresistible taste isn't what you think it is? Hold on to your seats as we unravel the mystery of Coca-Cola's secret ingredient. You might not believe it but the secret ingredient in your favorite soft drink comes from an unlikely source. Brace yourself for this revelation because it might just bug you a little. The secret ingredient we're talking about here is derived from, wait for it, bugs, yes, insects. Quite surprising, isn't it? Now before you gasp in disbelief, let's delve a little deeper into this. The bug in question here is the cochineal insect. This little creature has been heralded for centuries not for its crawling abilities but for its unique color. These bugs are used to create a vibrant food colorant known as carmine. You might be wondering how do bugs become color? Well, it's a fascinating process. The cochineal insects are collected, dried, and then crushed into a fine powder. This powder is then treated and filtered to produce a brilliantly bright red dye. This dye is nothing but our carmine. But why bugs of all things? The answer lies in the quest for natural and safe food colorants. Carmine is a natural dye that has been used for hundreds of years. It's a safer alternative to artificial chemical-based dyes that can have adverse health effects. And here's where your beloved Coca-Cola comes in. To achieve its iconic color, Coca-Cola, like many other food and beverage products, uses carmine. The same carmine that's derived from our little cochineal insects. Quite a journey from a bug to a bottle, isn't it? So the next time you're sipping on that Coca-Cola, remember the tiny creatures that contribute to its classic charm. It's a testament to the lengths we go to find natural solutions, even if it means turning to the insect world. Yes, you heard it right. Bugs contribute to the iconic color of Coca-Cola. A sip of Coca-Cola is a sip of nature, of history, and of course, a sip of the humble cochineal insect. So, cheers to the bugs. But what exactly are these cochineal insects and how do they contribute to Coca-Cola? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of these tiny creatures, Cochineal insects are small bugs that are native to tropical and subtropical South America and Mexico. They live on cacti from the genus Opuntia, feeding on the plant's moisture and nutrients. Now you might be wondering, insects in my soda, really? Yes, indeed, but not in the way you might think. These insects play a major role in producing a vibrant red dye known as carmine. When cochineal insects are crushed, they produce this dye which has been used for centuries in various cultures for its brilliant coloring properties. From the ancient Mayans and Aztecs who used it in paintings and textiles, to modern times where it's used in food, beverages and cosmetics, carmine has stood the test of time. In the case of Coca-Cola, carmine imparts that characteristic caramel color we all know and love. The insects are harvested, dried and then crushed to extract the dye. The process is meticulous and time-consuming, but the result is a natural and safe food coloring. And there you have it. A little-known fact about one of the world's most popular drinks. So the next time you enjoy a Coca-Cola, remember the tiny creatures that help make it possible. The use of bugs in Coca-Cola might sound shocking but is it harmful? This question has undoubtedly crossed your mind. The answer in short, is no. The bug in question, the cochineal insect, is used to produce a dye called carmine. This dye is not only used in Coca-Cola but is also a common ingredient in a variety of food and cosmetic products. It's important to note that carmine is generally recognized as safe by food authorities around the world. It's been extensively tested and has a long history of use dating back hundreds of years. However, like any food ingredient, some people may have allergic reactions to it. These reactions are rare but they do occur. This brings us to the matter of disclosure. Food and drink companies have a responsibility to clearly state all ingredients on their labels. This is not only a matter of transparency, but also a safety concern. If you're allergic to certain ingredients, you need to know what's in your food and drink. Coca-Cola, like any responsible company, lists carmine on its labels where it is used. Ultimately, the use of bugs in our food and drink is not as unusual as it might seem. It's just one of the many ways that nature contributes to our daily lives. 
While it might be a surprise, the use of bugs in Coca-Cola is a testament to the fascinating and diverse ways nature contributes to our daily lives. Coca-Cola, a drink enjoyed by millions worldwide, has more to it than meets the eye. Today we've peeled back the layers of this iconic beverage, revealing some surprising truths. We've delved into the history and production process, uncovering the unexpected use of a natural ingredient, cochineal bugs. This tiny insect, native to South America, is the secret behind the drink's distinctive color. It's a practice that dates back centuries, a testament to human ingenuity in utilizing nature's resources. And while it may come as a shock to some, it's a reminder of the fascinating complexity behind everyday items we often take for granted. So, as we wrap up, let's take a moment to appreciate the journey of this beloved beverage. From a small insect in the South American deserts to a fizzy drink in your hand, it's a testament to the wonder of nature and human innovation. Next time you sip your Coca-Cola remember, you're partaking in a centuries-old tradition of utilizing nature in the most fascinating ways. Cheers to that!